we wanted to revisit a area that's of great concern to many of our clients regarding Form 3520. Many of our clients file this form when they receive gifts from uh, abroad, whether it be from a parent or a relative uh, or someone has passed away. It's not cash, it's any asset and uh, required to be filed. And we have a recent blog posting that we put out that um, talks about whenever you receive more than $100,000, that's when you have to file it. There's lots of different questions they ask you on this form that we have. The, the form is right here. And it's unfortunate, unfortunate that it is combined with another different type of form dealing with foreign trusts. The very last page of uh, Form 3520 deals with uh, these foreign gifts. And uh, just to confuse you all, they, you know, they just put it on a, on, a, on a form that most of it does not apply to you. But on the very last page, page six, is where if you're a US recipient of a gift from abroad, that's where you have to report it. The penalties for failure to file this form are very high. In fact, it's been such a big problem. We created a new website on this called Late 3520, talking about the Form 3520, the basics, the top mistakes to avoid, frequently asked questions, and how to correct errors. Um, most of our clients come to us often when they have already filed the form and they uh, cannot, uh, and then they get a they file it late and they can, you know, they get subject to these penalties. There are ways to avoid the penalty uh, through some of these various programs that we help our clients with. But, you know, read this, you know, go to this website, take a look. It's late3520.com. But it's a big problem. And I, I recommend that people get uh, proper counsel to make sure that they don't make a mistake. And as per our blog posting, it's a trap for the unwary. So don't get trapped. Thanks, and as always, we stand ready to help. Thank you.